Welcome to the House of Austrian History. This rather young museum is located here in the historical center of Vienna. I am part of the museum's educational team, a department that plays a central role in this museum. I will now take you on a tour to show you what drives us and our work. Austria hasn't had a contemporary history museum until now. It was finally opened in 2018 in a very significant location, a location that embodies one of our central aims, to talk about conflicted histories. In the collective memory, the building and the square in front of it, Heldenplatz, are connected to the 1938 Nazi takeover of power in Austria. Adolf Hitler spoke to a huge cheering crowd from the balcony of this building, as captured in these propaganda images. After the Second World War, Austria claimed to have been the first victim of the Nazi regime. However, the images of the enthusiastic crowd have always proven this narrative wrong. The balcony became a taboo and only later a symbol of Austria's share of responsibility in the Nazi crimes. Locating the House of Austrian History in this specific place means countering this taboo, which is still influential today. Here on this level, we thus show temporary exhibitions that are dedicated to the victims of National Socialism, to the Holocaust and its consequences. And now, let's go to the main exhibition. Here we are in the heart of the museum. When you enter, a member of our educational team will welcome you. As trained historians, we are here exclusively for questions and discussions with our visitors. You will also find a lounge area to rest and our workshop space. The founding of a democratic republic at the end of World War I is the starting point of our main exhibition. Here, in the first room, we ask what this moment in history means today. The motive of democracy under construction is taken up by the exhibition design that contrasts the imperial marble-made interior of this room. When we enter the next room, the design looks completely different. We are in a kind of history lab. History is constructed. What we tell about the past depends on our position in the present. So what are the stories that we tell? What are the perspectives that we show? How do we deal with objects and images? These were some of the guiding questions when we set up this institution. In the exhibition, we show well-known events next to completely unknown events. We don't tell history along one strand or plot, but with all its contradictions. We focus on processes and events rather than on a canon of usually white male personalities. We make voices heard that have long been unheard. A diverse and heterogeneous society should find itself represented in here. We never use images without reflecting on their origin or agency. And we bring in voices of today, as one of the main targets of our growing collection is to document what is happening right now. We exhibit contemporary protest culture as an element of the history of democracy. As a visitor, you can influence what is on display in the museum on different levels. You can interact and decide what should be seen. Or you can contribute your own images that enter the exhibition and can also be found online. Or you can have a say on central questions of democratic society. An essential part of our work lies in the personal exchange with visitors. We offer a broad range of thematic workshops and guided tours for all ages. Together we ask, what does the past mean for the present? Not everyone wants to or is able to come to this museum. We often link material to virtual exhibitions and offer extensive online resources. In one of our ongoing digital exhibitions, for example, we invite users to contribute ideas about what should happen on or with the balcony of this building. It is our aim to build and to be there for an interested community that wants to critically engage with Austrian history. History is in the making. Everyone's invited to contribute. And so are you.